Thực hiện đó. Which law? Addition. 
Positive means that should also be equal to this force divided by sine of angle to the other two. So what is this angle? 90 plus beta. Beta is 11.79. So this should be constant. That means both should be equal. So sine 90 is 1. So we have 3, 4, 100. Yes, is known. 2 kilometers. 2 kilometers divided by sine of 90 plus 2.03. So this is 2.03. 2.03.
This is opposite in direction of x minus f four three, whose total should be zero. So f two three will be equal to f four three. So then that is nothing but two point zero four. This value is also two point zero four. Yeah. So second case is also over. So very easy. Now which case? A B A O A O O O A. What is the link number? Link number is two. Fine. Now on this link, what are the first step? Point two forces. What is the first force? It's the hmm? action. So you see, action. We got reaction. Similarly, now this is action. Reaction of this left leg. So this is acting towards reaction as. So this is F. F of three on one two. Force of three on two. This is force of two on three. Something similar happens. Whatever happened here. Pushing it down, right? Apply the force. So now here, the connecting rod is trying to push it upwards. Say this will try to push it downwards. Downwards. Fine. So now, what are the other forces? Is there any other force that will act? This point is fixed. It's a hinge point. It's a hinge point. So whenever you get a hinge point, you get how many reactions? You get two reactions. You get two reactions. One is vertical, another is horizontal. Horizontal. Or 
perpendicular force into this. You can take a component of force which is perpendicular or you can find the perpendicular distance. Both options are open to you. Right. So which one is easier? Distance we already have. So let us take component of force which is perpendicular. Let us take component of force that is perpendicular into what is the perpendicular uh, distance? Distance will be fine. Now this is the angle. We are going away from the angle. Away from the angle. Sign of us. Away is sign. In away we have O. Cos has O. That is a simple thing. Fine. If we are coming on O. Cos O. On is cos. Away is sign. We are going away. Sign. So F perpendicular is F D2 into sin 60 minus theta. That is 7.09. Okay. F D2 is known. F2 D2 is the same. 2.04 kN. Apply. Now into OA, OA length, what is OA? 100. 100 mm. But should we take 100 mm? You should convert to meters, na? So, 0 0.1 meters. So multiply, what will get? Talk. 2.04 kilonewtons into sine of 60 minus 0 0.09 into 0 0.1. What do we get? 0 0.13. 0 0.153 unit. This is kilonewton and this is meters. If you want to convert this to newton meters, what should you do? Multiply 1 kilo. 1 kilo means? M power B. M power B. So 1, 5, 3 newton meters. So this is the torque required to stop it. Fine. Take care. Is it? Hmm? So this is a four bar mechanism. Okay, down. A four bar mechanism. Four bar mechanism with following dimensions. A four bar mechanism with following dimensions is acted upon by a force is acted upon by a force 80 newtons 80 newtons 80 newtons at 150 degrees with horizontal at 150 degrees with horizontal on the link BC on the link BC as shown in the figure as shown in the figure AD is equal to 500 mm AB equals 400 mm BC equals 1000 mm and BC equals 750 mm only one more that is BE that is 350 
Find the input torque capital T Find the input torque capital T on the link AB on the link AB to attain static equilibrium to attain static equilibrium Okay, so this is the force. How much is the force? 80, 80 newtons. And I am told one fifty degrees with horizontal. So like this, the force is acting at a point E. All the dimensions are given here. And this angle, what is the angle? Angle is given. That angle is given as one twenty degrees. The diagram. One. Maybe it is. Fine. Now, when you apply this force, what happens to make an equilibrium that you apply? Correct. You have to apply this torque. Fine. Now, analytical method becomes much more difficult. Much more complicated because you have to first find all the angles. First, you have to find angles. all the angles. Only then you can proceed. So this angle is 120. This will be 60. This will be 60. This angle you have to find alpha. Alpha angle you have to find. Then let us say this angle is beta. Fine. Now here, here what we angle is beta, this complete will be beta and this will be alpha, correct? So this angle becomes beta minus alpha, correct? So these two angles we have to find, which two angles? Using all the dimensions. Using all the dimensions. Fine. So for this, there are two methods. If you draw it, it will be easier. If you draw this diagram, it will be easier. Fine. But if you try to do analytically, it will be a little bit tough, but you can do that here. Fine. So we have the instruments. No. Let us go with the analytical method. Next class we will try to see. Yeah. Okay. So how to proceed? First. Whenever you want to find angles, try to make right angle triangles. First, try to make right angle triangles. Right angle triangles. So here my draw is the line M. This will this become a right angle triangle. Fine. Then here I have to draw a vertical line. And now, so this becomes another vertical uh, right angle triangle. The M sub N and this is a Fine. So to find alpha, we know the hypotenuse. You know the hypotenuse? So one more length we need. One more length we need. So which length can you find? NC. NC can you find? Yes, sir. Yes? Do you know beta? Yes. No. Without beta you cannot find this. Right? So what will you do? JD length is known. And so you can very more complicated. We get two equations and both equations can be solved. So first let us take Pm. So this length Pm will be equal to MO. MO can be again split into MA plus AB plus DO. Now MA can be written as AB into 
Give me the sentence. This is address and touching on first. Right? So first, 60. Plus, we have 5 hundred. 80 length is given by 3. What is that? 5 hundred. Plus, DO. This is again adjacent. Cos meter. What is cos meter? DC into cos meter. Right. What is BN? Now BN, we can again write it in, in terms of DC. So this will be DC into cos. Correct. So this is equation number. In this, we have how many variables? Alpha, beta. Two variables. So, equation 1. We need another equation. We need another equation. So, for other equation, let us take C. Let us take CO. CO can be split into CM plus M. No. Now, CM can be expressed as sine. So, BC sine. So, and M O, M O is equal to B M, M. and B M can be written as A B sin sixty. A B. Now what about C O? C O can be written as C D sin theta. C D sin theta. Sin theta. B C sin. Alpha and ABM AB sin BM can be written as AB sin sixty. AB sin sixty. Sin sixty. So this is equation number two. Solve the equation. Fine. Let us solve equation one and two. And two. How will you solve it? How will you solve it? Here we have alpha, cos alpha, and here we have sin alpha. The magnitude is there for both. So let us try to make it sin alpha plus sin square alpha plus cos square. Cos square. Right. Now you tell me the values for equation 1. BC, what is BC? 1000. So 0.1. 0.1? Equation 2 is here. So from equation 1 we got this. Right? 
from equation two. From equation two, what do you get? C. No, sir. B C. We want to keep it on one side. Let us send this A B to this side. For B C, that is one sine theta. No, sorry, sine alpha.
quadratic equation. Solve quadratic equation. Equal to one plus. One of them is not possible. One of them possible. Okay. One. Zero point two six nine. Zero point two six nine.
Thank you. 
point seven five. This is the force. Distance B C or C D. Distance is C D. Next, clockwise and clockwise. Coming towards, can you push this side? So it will rotate. Clockwise. So it will be plus. Next, this force. Again, this angle is given. So perpendicular is again, na? Yes. Once again. Right. What is the force? Eighty kilometers. Kilo nii? Newtons. Eighty newtons. No need of writing. Eighty. Into sine of this angle. Seventy-seven point ninety-four. This is the force. And what is the perpendicular distance? Thank you. 